Why, hello there YouTube and welcome to a Torchwood review. I am Davros and I'm a Hoovian and today I review Torchwood Greeks Bearing Gifts. <laughs> So this is uh, the eighth episode, is it, or the seventh, or the ninth? I, I can't quite remember its numbering now. But this is another episode of Torchwood, where we f primarily shift focus onto one of the Torchwood team, and this time we're pretty much onto Tosh, as we follow her as she starts a friendship and eventually a physical relationship with Mary who is this bizarre woman who was around in the early 1800s and then is revealed to be this alien who gives Tosh these this gift you know of alien tech and basically manipulates Tosh and sleeps with her and has her you know manipulated to the point where she gets her into the Torchwood hub but of course, Jack and the team know what they're doing. They capture her and deal with her. Also, we find out that this alien Mary is, you know, has this thing where she tears out the hearts of her victims, as we see in the episode in flashbacks, which is a bit gruesome. But uh, yeah, and you know, we see Tosh in a moment of weakness there, but the team, you know, take her back and stuff. Anyway, what did I like about this? That's the plot. So what did I like about this episode? First of all, I like that Mary, in her alien form, she looks so bright and pretty and also like, you know, an alien that would not do such a gruesome thing. You know, not look threatening. I believe the form of this alien even appeared briefly in the Sarah Jane Adventures as well. Probably a different one. But, yeah, the, the visuals on her are pretty good for its time and I still think hold up to this day and I, I like the look of that alien creature. I also liked how we focus more on Tosh in this one, how she sort of took the centre stage in this with her relationship with Mary and I also like the actress playing Mary in human form. Uh, I know her better as Jamie Har uh, Janie Harper in uh, the BBC sitcom My Family and yeah, she did a good performance, looking all menacing yet gentle and seductive. She was pretty good in that, and I liked all her portrayal. Um, also, there are a few flaws, like some filler moments in there that don't feel relevant to the plot or just quite boring. But I remember this being quite a good episode and enjoying it. The, the first two series, I think, of Tortured are the best. And this is definitely a good episode, which I enjoyed watching. And yeah, I don't think I've got much bad stuff to say over there. And like I say, there were moments in there that bored me, but it got back on track. And we saw some sci-fi, we saw some sex, well, implied sexual content. And, you know, um, and, you know, you know, this just shows that it doesn't have to focus on the entire team for it to be a good episode, a good filler episode as well. Uh, and I believe this was written by uh, Toby Whithouse, who was written for Doctor Who as well, like School Reunion and The God Complex, and even his hit TV show himself being human. So I thought it had good writing. So, yeah, um... My ratings, what am I going to rate this one? I'll give the performances a 9, the visuals a nine the writing uh, a, a seven and my personal i'll give it a i'll give it an eight i thought it was a good one so yeah there you are there's my review this week for torchwood greeks bearing gifts so have you seen this one let me know what you think down below in the comments and if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up Share with your friends and feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and to hit that notification bell. All my social media links are linked down below in the description so feel free to check all that out. 
I've been Davros the Huvian, and this has been a Torchwood Review. So, until next time, run for your life.